You can use symbols with publisher as well as designer and also create combinations of layers and designs, all that can be live and you can move things around, wrap in text, etc. So how to do this? So let's just remove every right from the start. And the key thing is I'm just going to create a container. Just going to be a very basic rectangle. That's the start point. Now it could be an image, it could be anything else as well. However, I'm just going to create a star. So here's a star and I'm just going to create that and I'm going to turn that into a symbol. Everything's going to be a symbol. So everything's going to be wrapped in this symbol where symbols can be changed at any point later in the day. So you can just modify them and they will change for every single related symbol or instance. So with this design now, I'm just going to say change the color so you can see it. And I'm going to turn that into a symbol. So how do you do, do that? So over here, symbols and create. You can find all these panels in the view menu, studio, and this whole list of panels. Click create, and you can see symbol added there. Now I'm just going to remove it now. So it's completely cleared, just got this container, and I'm just going to drag this symbol back. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to do edit and cut. And that sounds weird now, because what I want to do is I want to paste it inside this design. So I'm just going to paste it inside this, but I'm going to use paste inside. So edit menu, paste inside, and that puts it inside that container. And there it is, or parent, we want to call it. And you can just move it around, reposition it, etc. Now I'm just going to move that symbols out of the way. I'm going to use that like that symbols. You can just build up all kinds of symbols, but let's create a little bit more of this design. So hold down the alter option key, or you can always go right click there and duplicate. And you see it's listed as a symbol there. That's the key thing. So just drag again, alter option and then drag. And you can see you can build up these stars. Now, if I want to, I suddenly decide, you know what, well, I'm going to change that. I don't want that color. I can always change it. So I can go to that star. I can turn around and say, oh, number of points. I want that to be seven or eight. So you just tweak it there and they will all change. All those symbols will change. Also, I can change the color as well as the stroke, etc. Curved edges, I can change all these settings, tweak it, etc. Okay, so I've got your design, you're happy with that, you can resize the world, rotate it, and much more. However, now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn, you can turn this into a symbol as well. Just with that selected, just go over here, and again, symbols, and create. So you just make that as a symbol. And then that symbol, of course, you can duplicate that, hold down the alter option key, and you can resize that design. Now, what you can then do is you can expand that out, expand that out, and you can still access that star. And you can tweak that star, and as you do that, you can see they all change, and again, you can go up here, and you can change the colors. So you can tweak it, symbol, symbol, so all the way back, they all can be changed and tweaked. And you can resize it, reposition it, etc. Rotate that and so on and so on. Now, if I go over here and select that, and then tweak that, you can see that will then change. If you change the thing within the symbol, it will change. All of the instances will change. So you can see you can resize that. If I go up here, I can move that around. They don't change then. At symbol level, it doesn't. At that level, it does. You can tweak it. However, now what you've got is this design. I want to put that into Publisher because one thing Publisher hasn't got symbols, hasn't got symbols, but it will use symbols. So you can go to File and Edit in Publisher. If you haven't got Publisher, you can't do this. Obviously, if you need like photo, if you've got photo as well, you can do Edit in Photo. You can also Edit in Publisher. So Edit in Publisher, Publisher is a great application, got some lovely features. Edit in Publisher, and you can see exactly the same designs you had before. And it also, if you go over here to Layers. You can see you can break this down and it's exactly the same. So you can expand this out and you can go to this individual star and you can change those stars. And again, you can change the fill, do all the things. You can go over here, turn around and say, I want that to be orange. I want this rectangle. Select that. I want that to be changed, maybe light blue and so on. You can tweak that. And again, you can resize and they will all resize. Symbol level, no. Just you can change it like that. Key thing, I say symbol level, rectangle, change it then, then they will resize. Okay, so you've got this design. Now I want some text. 
Let's just move this slightly out of the way. And I'm just going to put all those there. Some text, I'm just going to use the frame text tool. So I'm just going to go here, frame text, and create some frame text. And I'm just going to enter some text. So text and down to insert filler text. It's easy, you can obviously type something. I'm just going to use this. However, another thing you can do is you can actually select this. And you can also, I guess you can make that into a, a symbol as well, combined the both. Gets a bit messy then, I think. However, you'll notice you've got up here, you've got an option for text wrap. So you can say text wrap settings, and you can say, I want that to be tight. And you can set a value for distance from text. So you've got a bit of a gap around it. So say 10 and 10. It's a nice one, 10 and 10. So now that's got a wrap. You can also do the same with this as well. So I'm just going to go there and I'm just going to click and yep. Ooh, strange, 10 and 10. Okay. So they're all done with 10 and 10. Obviously carried through with a symbol, which is quite nice. That's the way it should be. So that's all set. However, what you can then do is go here as well. You can just click here and again do exactly the same. So now I'm going to say, oh, I want that to be tight. And luckily it's 10 and 10 again still, which is good. So close. And then as I do that, you see what happens. The text wraps around it. Now it doesn't wrap here. It'd be nice if it wrapped around that as well. That would be an interesting uh, wrap. So wrap, well, I don't know how it would work. That would be so complicated. But the text, and now what you can also do is you can hold down the alter option key again. And again, you've got the text over here, frame text. You can always right click, say duplicate. So duplicate there, you can just duplicate. Any of these items can be duplicated within here. So if you want to, you can always just duplicate that symbol. Just say duplicate and get another one. Frame text, again, duplicate. You can duplicate any time or hold down the alter option key and duplicate. And then you can move that, resize that, reposition it. All those things, you can just do that if you want to. You can reposition it, change it. Also hold down the alter option key and you can see again the text there, hold down the alter option key. And you can build up a load of text there. And you can see now I've got this. And also, if you want to, you can rotate it. So you can build up a very complex design just by using this text wrap feature, as well as all these symbols. Now what I can now do, I created my design, I'm happy with my design. I can put it back into designer. That's the next thing. So file and go to edit in designer. You can always go backwards and forwards, likewise into photo if you've got that. But edit in designer. Takes a few seconds. Now we're back in designer. Exactly the same structure. Exactly the same structure. You've got all of these symbols. And if you want to, you could always select all of those. Select all those frame text and go up here. Go to layer and group. So you can just group them. You need to group them because if you want to turn into a symbol, you need to group beforehand. If you've got lots of items, you need to do the group, then symbol. So you know you can create that. And that's just turned into a symbol as well. So you can see now you can modify things, but it's a symbol, which means you can duplicate it as a symbol and changes will all be reflected all the way through. So again, you can go right click, duplicate. And then you can build up another one and you can see now you've got this one as well and you've got that symbol and you can change that and you can see as you resize it it will move around and resize reposition rotate it and that there symbol but you can break it down so you can turn around expand it out say all oh, frame text i decided you know what i want to change that and you can change that and that will change and that will change there in the other one it's all interlinked because it's a symbol you can just decide, you know what, I want that rotated around. I can change, tweak other things. Maybe go for, say, 16 point. And you can see you can resize that, change that. Maybe drag that out and so on. You can build up very complex designs. All these symbols there. And you've got symbol there. And again, you can go there, resize that. Expand that out. You've got the rectangle. We expand that out. You've got the symbol. You can always go to the star. And you say, you know what, that star, I don't want eight points. I want seven points and all of them, seven, five foot, they will all change. If you decide, you know what, I want that to be all darker. They all change because they're all symbols. They're all, all the way through the structure, it will go back. And again, you've got symbols there and you can do exact same. 
You can select all of those symbols, go over to layer and group. Again, that's the key thing. And then you can, of course, go over here and you can say symbols, create. So that, you've created that as a symbol now. And again, you can hold down the alter option key and you can duplicate that and you can see it will duplicate and duplicate. You can create three or four different layers, multiple ones, and you can rotate it. And again, you could go for text wrap and all those things in Publisher, because you need to do it in Publisher to do the text wrap. And again, it's all still editable. So you could expand this out all the way through and you can change the text. You can change all the other symbols. Now, you might like to always change names and things. I think that's probably a good idea as well. However, you don't have to. And again, go to the star and you can always, you know what, I want something else. So I don't want just that. I just want to add, and I'm just going to make certain you add it relative. It's no point just putting it up like at the top. It could, of course. But if you want it to be close to it, so you can see where it is, that's helpful. You can just create another, say, like design there. And you can change the color. So let's just change the color. You can see then you've got all these dots that go with the star. And then you can add maybe another one. So you might want maybe create lots of different dots all the way over. And that's reflected in every single symbol all the way through. And you can do exactly the same with text. You can go to the text if you can find it. Actually, that would be a really nice feature. It would be a search feature. Because after a while, you get this layer panel. There is no feature as far as... Hmm. That's, that would be a real handy feature, just a sort of nice search feature, because after a while it can get quite complicated, the, this actual layers panel with all the different symbols. Oh, there's the frame text. So you can see, you can select that frame text, and then you can change the color and tweak the color, and you can see you can make it green or decide, you know what, you want some other, add strokes to it, etc. However, symbols works with Publisher, as well as designer to create all kinds of very complex designs, which you can tweak to your heart's content and make all kinds of quite unique designs. Maybe not particularly your average layout for a, a page or something, but I still think it can be used for some quite interesting sort of text designs and much, much more. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.